always great to see you. The last time we talked was at the SOCAN Awards. It was a lot of years ago. It was definitely before the pandemic. I said it then, I'll say it again. You don't age, you're gorgeous, you're stunning, you give great energy. If this world needs beauty, you're the one who provides it. <laughs> Thank you. You're really nice. Thanks, Rudy. <laughs> well, you've always been that way. What is it about you that even though we, the world can be as tough as it is, you always give us some hope that things can change? I think I just hate pain. <laughs> No, I, I don't like feeling bad. If I feel bad, I really try right away to feel better. And I think I'm always trying to get healthier. I mean, I'm pretty healthy as it is. I'm always trying to, I don't know, I just enjoy trying to make things better. So if I'm on a bummer, you know, I just find a way to fix it. I was going to ask you, how's your garden doing? And my garden's great. <laughs> and my goats, they're all good. Oh, I love that. Well, look, yeah. you're here on the red carpet. Why are you here at Canada's Walk of Fame? I get to induct the Tragically Hip into Canada's Walk of Fame. But surprisingly, not not only as musicians, but as humanitarians. So it's in continuing the work of Gord Downey, of course, with the Cheney Wenjack Foundation. But um, uh, also, you know, their own work as humanitarians and supporting his work and understanding what he was trying to do and what a lot of Canadians are trying to do, really. They, they reach an entirely different audience from me and they're really putting it to work. Did you, did you ever, ever perform with the Tragically Hip? I'm just curious. No, we only met for the first time uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, I participated in, uh, it was Secret Path Week. Yes. And they backed me up. Uh, doing a couple of songs, one of them Gord's and one of them mine. So that was the first time we'd met. I never even met Gord. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, it's a very big world. It is. I mean, and Gord, Gord's audience is very different from mine. But he managed to, to bring his world to, the, to indigenous uh, causes and to inform the rest of the world who had no idea. So we're very, very grateful to Gord. Absolutely. Look, before you go, what are plans for 2023? What do you have going on? I think I'll take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, look, have a great time. You look fantastic. I hope we don't have to wait another couple of years to do another. Uh, thanks, Rudy. It's always good to see you, man. It's been a long time. a long time. Yeah, I don't know when we first met, but it was a long time ago. Long time, too, but I always remembered it, though, and it was a lot of fun. Many red carpets ago. There you go, exactly. <laughs> Have first, fun. it's great to see you all. Sir, the last time I saw you, Casino Rama, Santana concert? Yeah, fantastic. Fantastic show, and of course, you gentlemen, of course, it was the Juno Awards when you guys were performing with Feist. That was a very special time. The Tragically Hit being honored. How does it feel being honored tonight? Uh, it feels good. You know, we're we, uh, um, trying not to be awkward and trying to be comfortable and... Uh, yeah, it feels good. It's an honor, of course, and um, you know, to for it specifically to be for uh, humanitarian kind of thing. You know, that's something we generally kept pretty private, but um, but it's okay. It's like, hey, you know, we're we're honored and um, and flattered and uh, happy that we were able to do it over the years. You know, give back as much as we could. You know, and you guys have always been a treasure. For Canada, yes, we've lost Gord, but the music is still going on. You guys have been still releasing tragically hit music. Uh, yes, they have, uh, and we get together. Uh, I stand in for Gord, and we um, we get together every couple of weeks and plot out the next projects, and then you know develop them along the way. It's an honor to be here. Uh, these guys uh, gave me the honor to come and stand in for Gord, and. Uh, I just have to say, these guys here, you know, they're as, uh, they're as humble as they are generous. So it's really just a great night to be here, and uh, uh, it's really special for all of us. Last question, how do you guys want the Tragically Hip to be remembered for the rest of these days, man? Uh, that's, it's beyond our scope. That's above my pay grade. We, uh, we write the songs, uh, we kind of tend our own garden, and... Uh, we try and use the platform to help other people and to reach people that need help. Uh, if, if that's how we're remembered, I would be very proud of that. Oh, before we go, i got to ask very quickly, uh, Horseshoe, anniversary coming up. How do you feel about that? Oh, my God. The Horseshoe, key venue for us coming up. And uh, congratulations to them on the anniversary. I will do everything I can to be there. 
uh, on that night and on many nights beyond that. So. Fantastic. Gentlemen, I know you got to go. Thank you so much and congratulations.